Okay guys, let's solve 242 valid anagram. So we're given two strings, S and T, and we want to return true if T is an anagram of S and false otherwise. So an anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase. Typically, and I don't know why they say typically, it means literally using all the original letters exactly once. So we have S is equal to the string of anagram. We have T is nagaram. As we see, this is the exact same letters as anagram, it's just that they're in a different order, and so it is true. Whereas we have S as rat and T as car, there is clearly a T in this and there's no T over here, so that is false. And we have an extra constraint, S and T consist of only lowercase English letters. Now if you have two words that are anagrams of each other, well that just means that there exists an ordering such that they are equivalent to each other. And we have a way of forcing an ordering, we can actually just sort them. If we sort anagram, we'll have our three A's at the beginning will have G, M, N, and R. And if you sort T, you will have our three A's at the beginning, G, M, N, and R. And they are exactly the same, and therefore that would be true. Whereas if you had S is equal to rat, and you had T is equal to car, well, if you sort them, you'll get this as A, R, T. And if you sort car, you will get A, C, R. And clearly the sorted versions are not the same, and so it correctly outputs false. There's nothing wrong with this solution if you sort both s and t that will take well o of n log n time where n is the length of the s string or n is the length of the t string and that is just a little bit slow now instead of sorting the two strings you could instead get their frequency counts so if we got their frequency count is a dictionary f well that's going to be well we'd have a as three of those there's going to be one g one m one n and that's going to be the frequency count of s and if you also got the frequency count of t well we'll We'll call that G, and we know that G is going to be exactly the same as F. It'll have the same keys and the same values, and therefore, if you check if F is equal equal to G, well, then you're good to go. Now, checking if F equals equals G is very simple in Python, but it's a little weird behind the hood of how it's actually comparing the two dictionaries. Basically, what it would do is it goes through all of the keys in F. It'll say, is that key also in G? It'll do that for each of the keys. And also, whenever we see a key, it's also going to make sure that the values are the same for that key. So we need to go over all the key value pairs in F, and then you'd also need to go over all the key value pairs in G because there might be a key in G that wasn't in F. Luckily, this operation is linear because if you go through all of the keys, you are going to go through in O of N basically. And when you go and check if one of the keys is in G or you check its value, that is going to be an amortized O of one. So that's still an O of N operation. So that makes the code for this very, very easy. And to make it super simple, I'm also going to do from collections, I will import counter, which gets you your frequency counter as a dictionary. If you want to write out the dictionary by yourself, I encourage you to do so. But if the length of S is not equal to the length of T, there's actually no point of checking this at all because they better be the same length. If that is true, we can immediately return false. Otherwise, we'll get our two frequency dictionaries. We'll get S dict, which is a frequency count. So we'll just make it a counter given the string S. We will also get the T dictionary, which is a counter of T. And then from here, we can simply just return that S dict is equal equal to T dict. And that is the solution. If you were to run that, you are good to go. I hope that was helpful, guys, and have a great day.